What's up, guys? This is Daria, and we are back again for another Kaiju Cinematic Destruction. So, today I guess we're going to talk about The Nun. How fun. Also affectionately known as This Bitch Again, the movie. Yeah. It's directed by Corin Hardy and stars Damian Bichere. I'm about to butcher these names up like a motherfucker. Thaisa Farmiga and Jonas Blokat. And it's also part of that uh, spooky cinematic universe. DC's got a cinematic universe. Marvel's got a cinematic universe. These guys have a spooky cinematic universe. Cinematic universe. Yeah, uh, which covers uh the conjuring conjuring one and two and annabelle and i'm missing a movie here and there oh. but but it links all of that stuff together Ooh, so wow. yeah now is it worth your time do you want to spend your your dollars and cents to go see it well you're about to find out uh the movie is about a father not like an actual you know a priest priest thank priest. you a priest priest Yay, priest. Sent by the Vatican to investigate a suicide at an abbey in Romania. Yes. Which, weirdly enough, everybody in this movie basically speaks English, despite people who are French, Romanian, well, in the Vatican. Everybody speaks English. Well, you also have to take into account it was not too much farther from the war. Yeah. So yeah, you probably it yeah, it probably made sense to still have like some stragglers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's probably a stretch yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. but it kind of was after I'll, right after the war. I'll, so I'll, I'll let that I'll let that happen. But yeah. anyway, uh, Damien Bichere's uh, character Father Burke enlists the help of Sister Irene, played by Taisa Farmiga, and uh, she hasn't taken her vows, and that becomes a big big plot point, but there yeah uh she hasn't she's not technically a nun herself but they both go to this abbey in romania to investigate the strange goings ons go, goings ons yeah there. goings ons yeah you said that yep yeah mm -hmm. i said that goings ons yeah strange goings ons there and uh then things get spooky incredibly spooky how spooky well that's actually kind of the, this movie's biggest problem it, it Yes, I'm going to have to agree. I mean, you get your jump scares, but then after a while, it's just kind of like it, tedious so, and repetitive. Yeah. Okay. So for like the first third of this movie, it's them almost filleting themselves about this universe that they're trying to make everything super du super de duper connected. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're just trying to set the atmosphere and it doesn't really seem to catch it spends way too much time trying to set an atmosphere that just doesn't catch it's it's like looking at a painting where there's a lot of negative space and it just feels like there's nothing going on despite the fact that they have the backdrop of the scary abbey just like within inches away from them and it just never seems to connect in any great way. Uh, then the second, you know, third comes in. And then that's when we start to get some spookiness. And it does it does its job. It, it gets you. But after a while into the final third, then it just becomes a gauntlet of holy shit. And after a while, that gauntlet just kind of you kind of it becomes white noise. 
it becomes white noise at the end of this movie where it's like, okay, we see the signs. We see all the spookiness. It's happening. We see shadows walking through into mirrors and bursting things. And it's like, yeah, after a while, the jump scare has just become, okay, it's it's coming. It's oh, yeah. oh there, there it is. Yeah, there it is, like is. tedious yeah. and repetitive, yeah. like I said earlier. Um, yeah, I was expecting a little bit more from the movie. I was actually excited to see this movie. Yeah, uh, our choice <sighs> since 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 we have a a, a weird schedule uh, going into this upcoming week, we had a choice between two movies. It was The Nun or, or Peppermint. Peppermint, which is basically Death Wish with a white chick. That's, 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 that's the movie it's Death Wish with a white check yeah no I wasn't looking forward to seeing it but that focusing movie. back on the nun uh, yeah which which like she didn't want us to have no fun it tried it tried it did try it, 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 th- that's the thing that's the thing about this movie it tries and because it tries I actually give it a lot of respect the characters yeah, yeah like the characters and the actors in this in this they movie were were great they were fun i kind of like them on screen but like it got to a point where it's like okay when are we going to get to the part that i i my price of admission was to be scared i told you on a previous review i'm a scary bitch i want to be scared and it didn't deliver that until like halfway into the second act of this film and when it did it was great but then it started piling on to you to the point where it just stops being scary and it starts becoming a chore the very second that you start becoming a chore is when it just falls apart yeah it just starts coming jarring and you're just kind of like okay let's go ahead and get this over yeah let's just go ahead and get this Uh, over with yeah and even some of the scary parts became comedic a little bit like a little bit like the ghost with golden teeth Oh God! One of the biggest what problems. What was that about? One of the biggest problems is they finally let you see the nun up close. Oh, like, it was a nun. Yeah, that was a nun. Shit, that was that was, was the. Uh, well, uh, we we can't go into detail, okay, but well. the nun when they actually finally let you get, she becomes tangible. Like she goes from being this incredibly spooky specter to to she's got gold fronts, sharp gold fronts. Like what the hell was that? Yeah, it it the, it stopped being spooky. There, it's like okay, I I know I've seen you in North Memphis somewhere. I'm pretty sure I have. Give me my twenty dollars back. That's 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 what I want. Where my money at? Are you really gonna go to that extreme? Yeah, I'm going to that extreme. It's it stopped being scary. It stopped being scary. I don't scary. know if we need to go to the extreme. Yes, though, of yes. South Memphis, really? I said North Memphis first of all. Calm yourself. Whatever. North Memphis, represent. Whatever. Either way. But still. Either way. Either way. Damian Bichard killed it as Father Burke. Yeah. He he absolutely. Oh yeah. Again, the actors. They were fine. He, he he every time this movie tried to just push me away because this movie for some reason I just couldn't concentrate. I started to doze off in parts. And, and, and that's a, that's a, like a major indictment for a scary movie in my opinion. But like yeah. whenever he was on screen and was there to tell a story or just to act, he brought me back in. Yeah. And like the whole time I was wishing that he would just go, you know, leave, just leave, just leave the Abbey, take everybody's ass with you and leave the Abbey, just leave. There's a, there's a twist at the end, not really a twist, but there's a reveal, I guess you could say towards the end, uh, that was actually pretty well done. Um, that's, that's really about all I can say. Cause yeah. this movie really didn't have too much to it, it didn't annoy me, but also didn't set the world on fire. It was it was it was, it was a movie. It was, yeah. it was a movie. It it definitely did better than Slender Man. That's, that's, that's all I can say. Oh God, yes, that's, much that's, better than Slender Man. That's, that's really all I can say. I mean, if you were just looking to actually see a movie, I would say go see The Nun, not Slender Man. <laughs> oh yeah, if you if you want to get scared, uh, but you know now now it just feels like we're we're. Rambling. We're rambling. So go ahead, D. Give me, give me, give me your, give me your score. Uh, I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and give it three stars. 
three stars. Yeah, and that's mostly because the actors mm. did their they did their shit. They did their shit. Yeah. They did their shit. They did. See, here's the thing. She when it got scary, she's basically curled up and facing away from me in her chair in the movie theater. The theater was was you know, had had pretty nice attendance. But, like, throughout some of these parts, she's watching between her fingers. Yeah, and I mean, because, like I said, when the up. jump scares come, they're, like, exciting. But then, after a while, they just get... It, it, it's just, they just they, die they just, down. And you're just kind of like, okay. They just kind of pile it on to yeah. you. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. All right. All right. I... Okay. So, I got to be a bit more critical of it and give it two stars. That's mainly because, like, the movie without the scares was just so formulaic and just, it was just there. And I just had to give that, like, a one. Mm -hmm. But when it got to the scares, it was competently done. It actually startled me in some spots. There was one very, very scary scene to me. Like, not startled because of jump scares, but it actually made me freaking uneasy to the point where I might... If, if I had... If my phone buzzed in my pocket, I would excuse myself, and I would be pretty fine with that because it actually scared the crap out of me. But that that's 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 there. So that's my three, and that, that that's that one. So I gotta split the difference, go for it too. Yeah, this movie this movie was good. It was good, but like just I would not want to see it again. I, I don't want to see yeah. it again. Like no. I might see it with a bunch of friends. I might yeah. in the comfort of my own home. Yeah, because I'm not going out there and spending my money and getting in those those chairs, however comfy that they may be. I'm not gonna do that again just to see the nun. If it comes out on DVD or Netflix, yeah, I might, I might give it a shot when I want to feel kind of scared. Uh, I probably would just wait for it to come on TV. Yeah. to be quite honest. Yeah, <laughs> but like, yeah, it's 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 a two. It's a two. Yeah. Um, if if you want that one time jump scare thing and you're tired of found footage films and you want to support this spooky cinematic universe or whatever you want to call it, yeah, go ahead. Catch catch the nun. It's you're not gonna you're not gonna hate your time. You're not you're not gonna you're not gonna regret it. It's yeah. just at the end, you're going to be like, okay, that was a thing and leave and probably never think about it again. Like I'm already starting to fog up on certain details for this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you know what? Um, if anybody comes walking up on me in a nun's habit, you're getting drop kicked. I'm not going to lie. Cause that how, however, unlike However, the scares may have turned to white noise. Mm-hmm. I do, I do not suffer nuns. I cut I, genitals. No, no. We're not. If you sit, if you're sitting in a dark alley in a habit. Yep, I cut genitals. I'm and just, just, you know. just staring at me from a distance. Mm-hmm. One, I'm running. But if you walk up on me, you're getting, you're getting, you're getting tackled. Just straight up, Ndama sued. I gave my warning. I'm done. Catch y'all later, deuces. Bye.